Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we're diving into the latest update from the MX Linux, MX23.3. If you're already using MX23, you may be wondering if you need to reinstall everything. Good news, you don't. All the updates are available through regular channels. But let's go through what's new and improved in MX23.3. First off, MX23.3 is built on the Debian 12.5 bookworm base. This means it includes all the latest updates from both the Debian and MX Linux repositories. You're getting a solid foundation with the most recent fixes and enhancements. One of the noteworthy updates is that the build essential packages are now included on the ISO. This is great for those of you who may need to compile drivers but don't have the internet connection. This feature was actually introduced in MX23.2, but it's so important that it's worth mentioning again. So if you need it, it's there. For those setting up a new system, there's handy updates in the installer OEM mode. Now you can select your preferred system language before starting the user setup. This makes the installation process more user-friendly, especially for non-English speakers. This feature is also set up by default on the Raspberry Pi Respin release. MX23.3 includes PyPyre 1.0 with version 1.0.4 available in the test repository. Although PyPyre isn't standard in Debian, MX Linux includes it for better audio and video handling. The manual has been updated and is now divided into language-specific packages. This means you can get the documentation in your preferred language, making it easier to understand and use. Additionally, the MX Local tool now includes a function to remove all manual packages except for the current system default language. A new ZSTD compression option has been added to the live remaster feature of the Antics live system. This can help in creating compressed remastered live ISOs more efficiently. While MX Linux primarily uses SysVinit, MX23.3 has made systemd usable on the live system in a basic form. You can enable it by using the boot code. There may be some unmount errors at shutdown, but the file system should be read only by that time, so it shouldn't cause any issues. Many languages have received updates, improving the overall localization and making MX Linux more accessible to users worldwide. All standard MX Linux ISOs including XFCE, KDE and Fluxbox have been updated to the latest 6.1.9 kernel. The advanced hardware support version now uses the 6.8.9 Liquorix kernel. These updates ensure better hardware compatibility and performance. Lastly, the MX Linux Raspberry Pi Respin has also been updated. It now includes the latest package from both the MX and RPOS repositories, bringing all the improvements and fixes to Raspberry Pi users. So, to recap, MX23.3 brings a host of updates and improvements, making the system more robust, user-friendly and up-to-date. Whether you're installing it fresh or updating from an existing MX23 installation, you'll benefit from the latest features and enhancements. And as always, if you find this video useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next one.